So we are about to teach you guys something about cow's feet that you may or may not know. And that is that without routine trimming, we are going to get issues just like the issue I'm about to block now. So let's get into this trim. Let's show you guys why we get these issues. We'll show you how we can stop these issues. And we will show you what this issue on this foot can turn into if it's not picked up earlier. So let's get into this video and let's see what we are gluing this shoe onto. We are about to show you guys three different feet with some very different outcomes. So let's get into this video and let's see why these cows get sole ulcers. Oh, this glue is cold. So what we're gonna show you is this cow here. This is her back left hoof. And we also look at her back right hoof. And this is a very obvious flinch. See that reaction? That is this cow flinching because there is inflammation, there is pain underneath this sole. Now we have opened that up as much as we can just to make sure she's nice and comfy. And that right there was her back right hoof, which had the exact same inflammation. And now we're gonna show you what happens if that is not picked up soon enough. So this is a sole ulcer. Now you can clearly see on this angle how much of the outside hoof is overburdening. There is a huge depth in this hoof, which really shouldn't be there. So we could easily eradicate that just by a little routine trim. We would have stopped the bruising and we would have stopped this sole ulcer. But that's a bit of hindsight and these cows now haven't been routine trimmed. So there's not really much I can do about that now. But let's talk you through why this is happening. So these issues come from a repetitive impact on the pedal bone underneath the sole structure. And if we do not relieve the pressure, then they are never going to get the chance to repair it, it will just constantly get damaged and then we get issues just like this. So what are we going to do? We are actually going to glue on a long wearing shoe because these long wearing shoes will stay exactly like this and if she doesn't get rechecked for two months it's not the end of the world because I know this block is going to be exactly the same as how we left it. So then we just get to removing all the loose horn. So I'm just going to gradually drop all this as delicately as we possibly can. And you can sort of start to see now there's this black sort of streak underneath the horn there. And that is all loose, dead, detached horn that we still have to remove. And that is how we know how much to remove because it's dead. We can see it. It's really obvious for us where these issues are. Do you think every video I do, there's some sort of like comment about food? The one I put up last night, you were talking about Burger King, um, McDonald's, you and your up. chicken slacks. And now, as I'm sure you guys have seen me do multiple times, we are now spraying this ulcer site. And by spraying her with chlorhexidine, I am able to see any loose bits of horn that were missing, which there weren't any. So we sprayed it with iodine. We are wrapping it with salicylic acid and we're going to send her on our way. And then we're going to talk you guys through what you can do to stop these issues happening and how these are actually some of the simplest feet to trim and to stop these issues happening. Hey. One of our best mates. Oh, yeah. Who was it? Starkey. 
And now let me give you guys a few tips of how to reduce these. So, it's so long since bruising, stuff like that, can come from a whole host of things. It can be too much standing time. As you can see, all these gals are a little bit agitated that I'm here, so they're not particularly wanting to lie down. But if we go into the other shed that I am not in, they're in there, lying down, pretty chilled, although they've not long been fed. They've not long been fed, so they're gonna be up eating. But milking time is a crucial time for reducing these issues right here. So the quicker you can get those cows in and out of the parlor, the less chance you've got of getting these bruises, these sole ulcers. And then if you can routine trim twice a year, that's our goal. I'll show you a little routine trim in a minute. That will massively reduce the impact on that typical sole ulcer site. Now, lack of feed space can cause an issue, but luckily for these girls, they have a double feed rail the whole length of the shed. They are feeding both sides. They also have a feed fence in the next shed over. And they have a double feed fence along this shed here. So these cows definitely do not have a lack of feed space on this farm. So getting these sole ulcers, these bruisings are not coming from that. She's nice and chilled. got a feed space the whole length of this shed. The bruising and the sole losses here are actually pretty simple. We don't really routine trim. So we see issues like this because we don't really routine trim. Now these are grass-based cows. They don't have much lameness. We come in every two to three weeks. We see maybe 10 cows. It's nothing major. Um, but we could stop these with a simple routine trim and I would get rid of all of that. Don't forget, if you like this video, you like what you see and you want to help my algorithm, drop a comment on this video, give this video a share, give it a like. We are going to be dropping videos twice a week. We're going to try and stick to that schedule if we can. We have two videos per week. Drop a comment if you think there's anything we could do differently. But that being said, I am packing up, I'm freezing, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.